Hello, and welcome to another episode of Nightcore Store's Flashlight Lore. Today, we will be going over the Nightcore 21700 Battery Compatibility Guide. I will be the first to admit, I am not a fan of our battery scheme. I believe it was Chopin that said, simplicity is the final achievement. But it doesn't really apply in the situation because he was talking about notation. And I've only ever seen this quote attributed to him on a paper on neurology, and no real first-hand sources, so... I suppose what I'm trying to say is we have too many battery variants. But before we move on to any specifics, the surefire way of knowing which battery is compatible with your flashlight is to check your user manual that you threw away after unboxing your new flashlight. Fortunately for people like me, we host the user manual of all of our products on nightcorestore.com. Follow the instructions you see on screen and start learning to solve your own problems. Are you new to this channel? Consider subscribing and liking our videos for more Nightcore content. First, let us take a look at the nomenclature of the Nightcore battery series. Nightcore, rather eruditely in the naming of its batteries, adheres to the Linnaean taxonomical genus species format. The first two letters in front of Nightcore batteries, N and L, stand for Nightcorius lithium ioni. The 21 stands for the diameter of the battery in millimeters. The next two numbers stand for the milliamp rating of the battery. In this instance, a 40 would mean 4000 milliamps, and the 50 indicates 5000. Here's a neat fact 5000 is the largest isogrammic numeral in the English language. Isogrammic, of course, is a descriptor for a word in which every letter expressed only appears the once. For instance, cat or dog and me and Samuel L. Jackson's favorite gerund, Mother Duckling. Finally, the letters you find on the tail end of the name designate specifications for the battery. For instance, R stands for plug a USB into the hole. HP stands for high parage. I think the A and M are both silent. And you guessed it, a combination such as HPR stands for high amperage USB rechargeable. So then, let us take a look at all of Nightcore's 21700 batteries and their respective compatibilities. First, the basic NL2140 and NL2150. These are our standard batteries that will work in most all Nightcore flash flashlights that accept 21700 batteries. However, they are ideal for and come included with the MH10V2, MH12V2, MH10S, and MH12S. That is because these flashlights have a built-in USB-C port directly in the body, allowing you to charge these batteries. However, they will still work, for instance, with a new P12. However, because the new P12 does not have a charging port on the flashlight body, you will need to remove and then place the battery in a standalone charger. Which brings me to the R series of batteries, like this NL2150R. This is essentially a standard Nikkor battery with a positive end cap that's been modified to have a USB-C direct charging port. This is an ideal battery for our 21700 utilizing flashlights like the new P12 or this new P30 that does not have a built-in USB-C charging port in the flashlight body. However, the R-Type batteries will still work with an MH10V2, 12V2, 10S, or 12S. It is just redundant because these have a charging port on the flashlight body which can charge the battery, or in this case, the battery can now be removed and charged via its own port. Next up is our HP line of batteries. For instance, this NL2140 HP and NL2150 HP. These are for our flashlights that accept a 21700 battery but require a higher amperage to maintain the high lumen output, such as the HC35 headlamp or the E4K ETC flashlight. Fortunately, the HP series of batteries by Nikkor have now been discontinued. But don't worry, the reason being is that the standard NL series batteries without the HP designation in the back, just the standard NL 2150s that were made after 2021, now provide enough amperage to power headlamps such as the HC35. I believe this move was done by Nikkor in an effort to hopefully reduce the confusion that it caused with all of the different varieties. And so now, if you had a flashlight by Nikkor that originally came with a NL 20 something HP battery, you can just purchase a regular NL2150 and it will work just as well. 
In one E4K, I will insert a standard NL2150, and in the other E4K, I will insert the now discontinued NL2150HP, so that you can observe that there is no major drop in the max lumen output of either flashlight. Both of these E4Ks were activated on their 4400 lumen turbo settings. Now that's all fine and good that you now can just power something like an E4K with a 4400 lumen max with just a regular NL2150. However, for high lumen flashlights, lights such as this E4K without a charging port, the best battery to have is the NL2150 HPR, which is coincidentally the one that comes included with an E4K. I think they wanted to make the E4K as small as possible, which is why they did not build a charging circuit, which would add possibly up to another half an inch to overall length. The only drawback then being that you have to remove the battery and then use the built-in USB-C port to charge the battery. Finally, we have our i-series batteries, the NL2140i as well as the NL2150i, which are our standard i-series batteries that work with the P10i, P20i, and P20i UV. Essentially, they work with the i-series flashlights that have a maximum of 1800 lumen. On the other hand, these standard i-series batteries will work with the high lumen i-series flashlights, such as the P20iX. But the P20iX and P10iX will not be able to attain its 4000 lumen turbo with a standard i-series battery. But this is good information to know in case of an emergency and you have a spare i-series battery. And that brings me to the NL2150 HPI. These are our high amperage i-series batteries for the P10iX, P20iX and P30i flashlights. Now, this battery comes included with these flashlights and is required to get the 4000, 4000, and 2000 lumen turbos. However, these batteries do work down. You can put an HPI battery in a regular P20i, but just because there is higher amperage does not mean you can break past the 1800 lumen max. I suspect the max is regulated by the circuitry inside the flashlight. I also do not recommend this pairing for continuous use. Use. Because I am not 100% certain to have a high-powered battery with a flashlight circuitry that was not designed for it. But like I mentioned previously, it is good to know in case of an emergency and you have a spare HPI battery. That concludes the concept video breakdown of Nikkor's 21700 battery compatibility guide. If you have enjoyed this video or think I am a big dumb fart, please leave a comment or suggestion below. As always, as a show of appreciation for our YouTube audience, save 10% on your entire order at Nightcore Store when you use the code U10 at checkout. To stay up to date on future product releases, sales announcements, specials, and all things flashlight related, please consider subscribing to the Nightcore Store YouTube channel. And thank you.